Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting video because it is my full Nordstrom anniversary sale try on haul for 2024. So I already posted my shop with me video where me and my mom go in store and try a bunch of things on. But today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I purchased and styling it a lot better in outfits that you can actually wear for fall. Obviously fall is still a bit away, but if you are anything like me, you get super excited and you want to start shopping early, especially when you can get some really good deals on a lot of these pieces. If you are not already, be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. You can also follow me over on Instagram and of course everything I mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description box below and I'm also going to try to link it via YouTube shopping as well. So you should see products pop up on the screen when I'm talking about them. YouTube shopping also has a carousel underneath my video that you can scroll through because sometimes the timestamps, if they overlap, they won't show up on the video. So you might be able to find something you missed in the carousel but if it is not there I promise you it will be linked in the description box and I'm going to pin a comment with links as well so hopefully you guys have no trouble finding what you're looking for and without further ado let's get started all right so we are starting off strong with one of the favorite outfits that I shared over on Instagram and in my shop with me video it literally is just a classic fall outfit with a nice pair of jeans a bodysuit and a cardigan this is like a go-to outfit formula for me in the fall months. First, we will start with my jeans. These are the free people jeans that were included in the sale this year. They are a wide leg. The wide leg style jeans are very, very popular as I'm sure you guys know. They're super unique for my denim collection. I really like how big the pockets are in the front. That's a cute detail. They're very high waisted as you can see. I mean, they go well above my belly button. They have fun details throughout the jeans like this little loop here on the sides. They're pretty long as well. And if you wanted to, you could totally unfold these and wear them a little bit longer, which I think would be cute with certain outfits, but I also really like them folded up. And if I wanted them to stay in place, I would just use a couple safety pins to pin them exactly where I want them. Probably a bit difficult to see because I have so much going on, but this is what they look like in the back. You have some detail here as well with this little strap going across the middle. And then as you can see, you don't really have traditional back pockets. You have like lower pockets that are kind of pushed to the side a little bit. I think that's kind of a fun detail. It's a little bit different, but I actually like it and I still feel like they look pretty good on the booty. As far as up top, we have a good American bodysuit. So the one that I showed you guys in the shop with me video was actually not in the sale and it was a square neckline. But this one of course is included in the sale and it is a V neckline and I actually love this so much more because I don't really have anything in my wardrobe like this. And the good American bodysuits are amazing. I don't know what it is, but just the material is so smooth. It's really flattering through the midsection here because trust me you guys, my stomach is not looking this smooth and flat all the time, but it does in these bodysuits. The straps of this bodysuit are a little wider, so it would be great to wear alone if you wanted to, or you can of course layer it underneath cardigans. Truly cannot say enough good things about the bodysuit. Honestly, I'm considering going back and getting it in the only other color that they have, which I believe is a hot pink. And then I just threw this cardigan over top, which is the North Nordstrom cashmere blend cardigan. I also showed in my shop with me video and I really love this. This was the only cardigan that I picked up this year and I feel like it's really the only one that I'll need. I really like the color. It's just neutral, matches with everything. I like the length of it. I personally tend to go for a long line cardigan and this one is a classic that's going to be in your wardrobe for years, especially because it is such nice quality with that wool and cashmere blend. It is a little bit of an investment piece, but I feel like it's worth it because like I said, this is something that really isn't going to go out of style. As far as the handbag I have on right now, this one is from Coach and I actually did not purchase this myself. My mom did, but she let me borrow it for today's video. If you watched my preview video this year, you might know that I wasn't super impressed with the handbags this year and I really wasn't planning on picking any up and I didn't pick any up, but I will say if I were to grab any, I think it would be this one because it is just so beautiful. I really love the multicolor design of this. You have the cream color up top with the rich brown outlining it and then on the bottom you have more of a beige color. Of course you have the nice gold hardware and then the chain is a really nice thick gold chain as well. And then you do have this leather part of the bag as well to go on your shoulder. And it's a very spacious bag too. You have a suede interior and several pockets inside. As far as my hat goes, this is the only hat that I picked up during the sale and it is from Brixton and I just 
really liked the slight western feel that it gives. The brim of the hat does angle up just slightly on the sides and I really like that because the western style is very popular right now but this still has a very fall feel and it's not too western. It's not like you're wearing a full on cowboy hat but it's just like a little touch of the style and I really like the color. I feel like it's a great neutral that will go with a lot of my outfits. And then lastly I will mention these Dolce Vita booties that I talked about a lot in my shop with me video. These are probably my favorite shoes that I picked up from the sale. I ended up getting them in two colors. These are just the classic brown suede. I feel like the heel on these is really what makes them stand out because it is a very trendy design. They do go up a little bit higher on your ankle and it is a tighter material. So that's a really nice look for a lot of outfits as well. But yeah, I just love the way they look paired with several different jeans. So yeah, outfit number one is definitely a favorite. Next up, we have a cute little blazer outfit. I am so excited I got my hands on this blazer because I love it. It is by Treasure and Bond. It is a herringbone blazer and I just got it in the gray color combination which I think is a classic. If you get up close you can really see the pattern on the blazer and although it looks really nice and cozy and perfect for fall and winter it's actually pretty lightweight so you're not gonna overheat in this at all. And this is kind of like an oversized blazer fit so I just got this in my normal size large and as you can see it hangs really nicely kind of in a boyfriend style and I just have it on with yet another bodysuit here. This one is actually a lot more affordable though. It's from BP. Once I found the Good American one I was like well maybe I'll send the BP bodysuit back but upon trying it on I think I'm definitely going to keep both because I really like this bodysuit you guys. It is so stretchy. Most importantly I just love the neckline of this one. It's very unique. You can see the straps are a little bit more narrow here and then they widen as it goes over your shoulder. I love the ribbed material in this bodysuit. This is another one that I might go back and get in other colors because I live in bodysuits. I truly just can never have enough of them and this one is so flattering and very comfortable. And I just have this outfit on with a pair of my Spanx leather leggings. They're ones that I've already owned. I do want to pick up a new pair in the sale this year because I feel like these are a little bit faded. You guys already know how I feel about these. I truly cannot sing their praises enough. They're just my most worn piece of clothing all year round. Like I can say that confidently because I just wear these so often. You can tell by looking at them because the shininess kind of fades because of how much I wear them. They're so comfortable. They really snatch you in. I feel like they're really flattering up here at the waist. I feel like a lot of leggings I would never dare wearing over top of bodysuits and stuff like that, but these are kind of made to do that. They're like leggings, but they're also kind of like a pair of pants. If you guys want me to do a video on styling these in a bunch of different ways, I can absolutely do that. And I especially love them because I have dogs and these do not attract dog hair at all. So if I'm ever in a rush and I want to wear leggings, but I don't want to lint roll anything, I always choose these. And I'm actually wearing the same boots that I just had on, but these are in a different colorway. So these are the black version and they actually have the stud detail across the ankle. I love these. They're super edgy. Once again, the same kitten heel and pointed toe. Very fierce design on these. I just love the edgy look. And I would say these boots do run true to size. I'm wearing an eight and a half in both pairs and that is very normal for me. Before we move on to the next outfit, I wanted to mention these sunglasses. They are actually a pair of designer sunglasses that I purchased in the sale and they are by Versace, you guys. And I am truly obsessed with these. I saw them in person and I fell in love with them. I just love how angular they are. I love the quality of them. They're really heavy and they feel sturdy on your face. And what I loved most about them is the side of the sunglasses that says Versace. I just love any sunglasses that have a really beautiful detail on the arm. And these have that on both sides, of course course and they are just beautiful all black which I also really liked because sometimes I don't want a silver or gold hardware on my glasses I just want all black super fierce very simple and these are incredible and here is the case that comes with them next up we have the same base for an outfit so the same BP bodysuit and the same Spanx faux leather leggings but this time I threw on a little flannel over top this was a last minute grab for me I didn't even try it on I just threw it in with my other stuff to purchase and I'm so glad I did because I love this color scheme. I feel like it looked so much prettier in person than it did online because it did not catch my eye online at all. I think this is by BP and I just got it in the medium large I believe. But yeah this is just like fall in a flannel. I love the caramel brown color with the burgundy. It's gorgeous. It's so soft and comfortable and if you want to 
throw on a little casual outfit, but it's not cold enough for a huge thick cardigan or a coat. This is the perfect outfit. And then I actually put it on with some tall boots. So I got these when my mom and I went over to another Nordstrom at a different location the day after we shopped. And I was so excited that they actually had these in stock in a wide calf because I do require a wide calf in my boots and that is hard to find sometimes in the sale. But these are by Vince Camuto and they did have a wide calf. I love the heel on these. It kind of angles towards your toe and it is just like a wooden stacked heel. It's so pretty. These are in like the darker brown color but they come in a black leather and a really pretty kind of caramel and black mix that I have my eye on as well. But yeah, I think these look really good with this entire outfit. This is absolutely something that I will be wearing in the fall. And I actually have another pair of sunglasses I wanted to mention. These are from Key, so a lot more affordable. But I just thought these looked so cool. Number one, I do not have any sunglasses in this color. They're kind of like a burgundy, perfect for fall. And I love how straight they are on top with the really angled cat eye design. They're very lightweight. They have a skinny arm, so they are comfortable. But yeah, I just think these look so fierce and intimidating almost. But I'm excited to style these for fall. I just think they're going to go with like any outfit because to me, burgundy like this is a neutral in the fall. Next up, we have a little sweater moment. This is a sweater from Treasure and Bond and they have my favorite sweaters in the sale. They are just the softest, most comfortable sweaters you will ever find. And this is a newer style to me. It is a mock neck style and I love this because I feel like you can wear it several different ways. So it is kind of intended to be worn standing straight up just like this. And I think that is a great look when you are like deep into fall. It's just giving pumpkin patch, just like all of the fall vibes. But if you wanted to fold it down, you definitely could for a more casual look or you could even like fold it in as well. And I think that's a really chic look. I just have it on with my Spanx leggings and the same tall boots. And I did get this sweater in my normal size large, but if you wanted to intentionally wear it with leggings, you could size up and that is going to give you a little bit more length here at the bottom. But wow, you guys, this material is so comfortable, so stretchy and soft. And then I just thought this outfit paired really nicely with this coach bag. So yeah, I feel like this is another one that you guys are going to really like just because it is a very classic tried and true fall outfit. So next we have another very fun outfit for fall. This one is featuring this very extremely oversized sweater from Free People. This is like a Nordstrom anniversary sale classic at this point. I feel like this has been in the sale for three years now. I actually own it in a couple other colors and this year I picked it up in the army green. I really like this sweater you guys and I don't typically love a huge bulky sweater because it can just not be very flattering but these actually are. I really like them as dresses like this although I know it is a little short and I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be like Kayla I would not wear that out it's too short but a couple options you could wear little bike shorts underneath or you could get like a little slip with a little bit of lace at the bottom I will link one from Amazon and if you do feel like it's a little too short that little bit of lace if it does peek through it's going to look like it's intentional and you're not just wearing something that's way too short. So I might try that because I do have one of those little lace slips that I think would make me feel a little bit more comfortable. Like it's not too short when I'm just standing still, but if I move around, it does get pretty short. And I did just do this in my normal size large, but if you wanted to wear it as a dress, you could size up. I think that would help, of course. I threw it on with my Brixton hat and the same coach handbag. If I was like actually styling this, I'd probably do some fun chunky jewelry, but for now, I just threw on these accessories that I already kind of had on. I love a good tall boot with a sweater dress. So these are perfect together. And I'm not gonna lie, I just love this outfit. I feel so feminine in something like this. It's just adorable to take pictures in, to go out with your girlfriends in on a little date night in the fall. So next I have on this beautiful Julia Jordan dress that I tried on in my shop with me video. I mentioned in that video that I love her dresses and I usually look for one each year in the sale because they are such a good deal and they truly are some of the best quality dresses. They are just so flattering and so beautiful. And I always wear stuff like this to any like fall weddings I have or any fall events. So this was my pick this year. It's a beautiful pattern, you guys. On camera, it doesn't even do it justice. Like it is just so vibrant and gorgeous in person. It has some ruffle detail at the shoulder and on the sleeves. You have this really nice cinching at your waist. That's what I love about Julia Jordan is she always does some sort of like cinching here in the middle and it is just such a nice look. And then of course it flows out from there and it's just like a really nice flowy dress that you can move 
moving and dance. And with this one, I thought I would let you guys tell me which shoe you like better. So on my left foot here, I just have the tall boot, which a lot of people are styling a tall boot with longer dresses like this. So I thought I would give it a try. And then over here on my right foot, I just have the shorter Dolce Vita boot. So you guys will have to let me know which one you prefer. I think I'm leaning towards the Dolce Vita one just because of the color. I just feel like that color kind of stands out more and it also makes my foot look a little bit skinnier, which is a lot more flattering with a dress like this. But yeah, either way, this is absolutely one of my favorite pieces that I picked up during the sale. All right, so it is actually the next day. I had to stop filming yesterday because the sunlight was going down and I just wanted to spend time with my family before I went to bed. But we are going to finish up this haul video today and we are starting off strong with another great outfit for fall. First up on top, we have this amazing sweater from the Nordstrom brand and this is actually a full zip sweater. So if you wanted to unzip this and wear it with like a little bodysuit underneath, you could totally do that. Last time I checked, this one is sold out. So I'm hoping that they're gonna restock it at some point. If you see this come back in stock, get your hands on it because it is a really nice piece and one that you can wear in a few different ways. You can see it has this nice collar detail. So you can either leave it up like this or try to fold it down a little bit. I just think the collar is such a fun detail, very trendy for this fall season. And then I'm so excited to talk about these jeans because these are definitely a favorite purchase. I got these the next day in a different Nordstrom location because when we were shopping at Pentagon City, they did not have like any jeans for me. So I was very thrilled to find a pair of AG denim to try on and I love these. I fell in love with them as soon as I put them on. They fit so well. They're so comfortable. And what I love about AG denim is the wash. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but they just do the best wash in jeans that truly looks vintage and worn in, but still like a really nice quality pair of jeans. A lot of times I don't care for stretchy jeans because they just fit really weird. These are stretchy, but they still fit beautifully. Of course, they are a high-waisted pair of denim. You can see the wash here throughout the thighs. Just gives it that worn in kind of feel. And they're like a great medium wash as well. So I feel like these are going to match with a bunch of different things. They are a boot crop, I believe is the style name. So you can see at the bottom, they kind of hang a little bit longer in the back. And they do have a raw hemline, which I think is just such a nice look. That is what I prefer in a pair of jeans. And they just flare out ever so slightly right at your ankle, which looks great paired with a bunch of different shoes. I have it on with the Dolce Vita boots right now, but I could also see myself styling these with sneakers and I think they would look great that way as well because of the cropped length. AG denim is a little bit of an investment, but I really think it's worth it. Jeans are like one of the only things that I will really splurge on in the sale. And here is what they look like in the back. So a very minimal back pocket design, nothing too crazy, but I do really like the way these look in the back as well. I do think they're flattering. And once again, they are super comfortable too. All right, next up, I wanted to share this little tank top and shrug cardigan combination. This was something that I was so excited to pick up just because I feel like it's versatile and something that I would actually wear quite often. But this is a piece that I'm actually not sure about. So you guys let me know how you feel about it. And I'm also going to just try to pair it with a few different things and see how I feel, but I'm not loving it with these jeans. I did purchase a brown like chocolate floral print skirt that the model had paired with it. And I think that's going to be really cute. So I'm going to test that out, but that is coming in my online order. So I don't have it yet. I do think it's cute and I really like the shrug cardigan. I think that's still a really popular style that you're going to see a lot this fall. And these do come in two different pieces, so they're not sold together. So if you just wanted the little shrug cardigan to pair with things you already own, you could do that. The tank top is just a sweater tank top material. This is something that you could definitely pair with a bunch of things as well. A great basic for fall. I love a sweater tank top. It just adds like a nice texture to your outfits. And the length on it hits like right at the top of my hip, which I actually think is nice. If you wanted to, you could tuck it in. I just kind of have it sitting over top of my jeans right now. But I do think the length is pretty versatile. Honestly, you could even like fold it underneath. It's a pretty thick material. So however you fold it, it's probably gonna stay put. But you guys let me know your opinions on this little matching set. Like I said, right now, I just have it paired with the AG jeans and my Dolce Vita boots, but this is probably not how I would style it 
to go like out and about. Next up, we have an outfit that would actually be great for any of my girls who are working in an office or need some professional wear. This is a top from Halogen. It comes in four different colors, and I do think this is going to be such an amazing piece for any of you guys in the workplace because you can pair it with so many different bottoms that you already own, and it's such nice quality, and it's great for pretty much all weather because you can kind of wear it at the start of fall when it is not quite so cold, but then as it gets cooler, you can pair a cardigan over top, or just like if it's cold in your office, you can pair a cardigan over top. I don't know if you can tell the texture, but it is like a little bit of a rib design. It's kind of a unique ribbing though with a little bit of a texture, so I like that. As far as the pants go, I'm a little bit undecided because I want to love these so bad. I tried these on in store in a size large, and they were really way too big. In the waist, they were just falling down, and they just looked very baggy, so I sized down to a medium, which is what I'm wearing right now, but now I just feel like they pull, especially like around my butt, so I feel like they fit decent in the back, but because they're pulling so much in this area, it ends up looking weird in my midsection, especially like where the pockets are, just because it's like pulling the fabric to the back. I don't know if that makes sense, but if you have like a bigger booty at all, sometimes you know things can just like pull in the front and make it look really weird. So I think that's what's happening on these. If you have a little bit more of a straighter silhouette, I think that these are going to be beautiful on you, but I would size down in them because I think they run really big. But these are really comfortable. They're a stretchy waistband, so very comfortable if you are having to wear them all day long at work. And they do have pockets. I really like the print on them. They're just a gray and white pinstripe. I feel like you could do a lot with these as far as styling goes. So yeah, I think I'm going to return these, but still thought I would share with you guys because if you have a slightly different body type, I think they're going to be great. As far as shoes, I paired them with these beautiful little kitten heels from Steve Madden. These come in several different colors. I actually ended up getting them in this red, which is definitely different for me, but I think it's a nice pop of color with a lot of outfits. They just have the really chunky silver buckle detail on the front of the shoe, and then of course they are a slingback style with the little kitten heel. These are very comfortable. The slingback style has elastic on it on the side, so it really hugs the back of your ankle, and even the pointed toe design is really comfy. I think if you're looking for a nice neutral, I would go with the black. I already had some similar to the black, so that's why I got a pop of color, but I do think these are one of the best pairs of shoes in the sale for the price. I love Steve Madden, and these are just such a trendy design. Next, we have a top that is very different, but I just wanted to try out one of these like mesh tops that are see-through. I feel like I do have one of these, but it's like in a pattern, and this one is just like a plain black. So I did have to find a little bralette that I already own to go underneath it, which I probably would look for one that is a little bit more plain. This one has like some lace detail, and it's just like a lot going on, but I do think this is like a cute look for a going out top if you want to kind of like be covered up, but still be a little bit sexy, a little bit edgy. I think this would be great with like a really awesome pair of high-waisted black jeans. I do have a pair of jeans that I'm going to share next, but I did not love the way they looked with this top. So I ended up just throwing on this more form-fitted black skirt to go with it. I do think this is something that I will have a lot of fun styling in the future. I feel like this is going to be like a great little vacation top even on like a trip somewhere. Just something that you don't necessarily wear all the time, but it's a fun piece to pull out in style. And it is pretty affordable since it is from Open Edit, so it's not like you're breaking the bank. Okay, so next up we have a totally different vibe. This is like a very oversized outfit, but I just have on this sweater, which is one of my favorites. This was one of the pieces I was most excited to get my hands on because I just knew I would love it. I love a white sweater. I could have one million of them in the fall and winter months, and I could still not have enough. I love the V-neck line for pairing with a lot of different layered necklaces, and I just like the oversized fit as well. And it's kind of like a fuzzy material. I did get this in the size medium, I believe. The tag says UK medium US size 8 to 10, but it's still pretty oversized. So I would say if you wanted to fit like this, maybe size down. I just paired it with these Good American Palazzo jeans, which is another piece that I'm really not so sure about. Honestly, you guys, I bought these when we were at Pentagon City Nordstrom, where you guys watched my shop with me video, but I really only got them because I needed bottoms to style with things. And these were like one of the only ones they had in my size, but I'm not in love with them. I don't really see myself reaching for them super often. Although I do think they're fun, but I just don't know if they're worth it. Let me 
know what you guys think, but they are just a really wide leg style jean. They do have a distressed hemline at the bottom, which I actually really love. I think that's a really cute look. I feel like they just make me look shorter than I already am, and I'm 5'5". Five five. They are high-waisted. They're super stretchy, and that is what they look like in the back. They do have some distressing on the pockets as well, and I just styled this look with the same little patent leather looking red kitten heels from Steve Madden, which I actually do think looks adorable. So I'll probably do a similar outfit, but with a pair of black denim that I actually really like. Alrighty, next we have another sweater. This one is from Halogen, and I did share this in my shop with me video. I did end up purchasing it. I think this is a really nice sweater to just like throw on and not really think about it a whole lot because it does have that like sparkly thread detail that makes it kind of a statement in itself. And it's actually really soft. I find that a lot of sweaters that have thread like this or any sparkle detail, they can be very itchy, but this one is not at all. It is so comfortable, but it's still pretty lightweight, so it's not overly hot. It actually comes in this gray color and a taupey brown color, so I really liked that one as well. I might take a second look at that color, but I will say it is a very delicate sweater, as I'm sure you can imagine, so I kind of have already picked it a little bit. You have to be very careful with the thread. It doesn't show. Like, you can barely tell, but if you're not careful, you definitely will pick it with your nails or jewelry or anything, really. I just paired it with the same Good American Palazzo jeans, and I actually do think this is a really cute outfit. I would totally wear this out. I mean, I still stand by what I said. I don't think the jeans are the most flattering on me, but they are definitely a fun piece to style, and I do think they look good with this outfit. For this one, I just have them on with the Dolce Vita kitten heel boots, and I do love the way the jeans look with these. Something about the way these shoes fit on your feet just looks really good with a wide leg pair of jeans. I think because they are a little bit more of a narrow shoe, so they make your foot look really skinny, and having a wide leg, I think that's kind of nice. Next up, we have a dress. This is another one that I tried on in my Shop With Me video. This is from Halogen, and it is a blue dress, but it has a really fun silver metallic thread throughout the dress and kind of like a pinstripe design. I just thought this was really cute. I think it's a very flattering dress and it's very comfortable. So that's kind of why I bought it in the first place. But now that I have it home, I'm just really not sure if I need it. So this is another one that I would love your opinion on. Just because I'm not really sure where I would wear it and I already have the silky long Julia Jordan dress that I really like a lot more. But if you really love anything sparkly or shimmery, you're going to love this because the metallic thread really does shine through in person and it's just like a nice silk material. If you've been looking for like a silky dress but you don't want anything form fitted, this is a great option. You have elastic around the waist here, a wrap detail up at the top, and you do have a little button if you want to button it there. And it is short sleeve so you could honestly wear this now if you wanted to. All right, now we are moving on to loungewear, activewear, and pajamas. Although this first piece I'm going to talk about could definitely be worn as loungewear, but I would absolutely wear this out in public with a pair of jeans too. And that is this half zip from Varley. And this was something that I did not expect to actually purchase. I think I did have it on my wish list in the white, but at the Pentagon City Nordstrom, they didn't have the white. So she brought me this green. And as soon as I put it on, I was like, yes, that is coming home with me. It is so nice, which I already knew Varley was an incredible brand. I actually do have one of their pullovers. I promise you when I say this, if you get this, you are just going to be in all of the quality of this. I mean, it is so thick. I love the ribbed material. The fabric is just incredible. I can't even describe it. It's just very thick, very stretchy. You have like a little pocket here at the front. And then, like I said, it is a half zip, but it just fits perfectly. I love where the zipper hits. I love the collar detail. I really like how the sleeves fit too. They get a little bit tighter on the wrist. And then the waistband here is a little bit thicker at the bottom and you can either wear it a little bit lower like this or kind of like tuck it in and underneath like that. No matter what, I just think this is such a pretty piece. It is very flattering. It looks good on everyone and it's a piece that you're going to have for years that's going to look brand new every single time you pull it out. And I just have it on with these Nike pants, which are another favorite that I picked up. I love these. I once again just think they're so flattering. They just make you look really tall and I like that the waistband is very thick. I feel like it snatches you in at the waist and you can tighten it with the drawstring here. Once again, the material on these is very thick and they are just in like a beige, kind of like a stone color, honestly. We have the Nike logo here. Of course, you have pockets. You do have a slit at the bottom of the pants too. And that is what the 
they look like in the back. And for shoes, I have on these New Balance sneakers that I was so excited to get my hands on this year. I love these. They're just a neutral color scheme sneaker. Of course, you have the New Balance logo and then some of like the gray suede detail. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's just like a fabric material, kind of slick. But I just think that's super unique. And I really like the brown detail back here too. They're just kind of retro and I think they're going to add such a cool vibe to like any outfit. And to me, these do run true to size and they are very comfortable. Like I cannot wait to wear these. Next up, we have a cute little matching set from Spanx. And I was so excited that this line was included in the sale this year. This is the Air Essentials line from Spanx. It is truly the most incredible material you will ever lay your hands on. It is so silky smooth. I know some people overuse the term buttery soft, but truly this is like butter. Like it's so smooth, but it's still lightweight and it actually holds up really well. I have an Air Essentials set already in the pants version and I love wearing it for like travel days or any like athleisure moment. And honestly, the little crew neck sweatshirts, you could just wear as a top. This comes in three colors this year, the full set. And I feel like both of these pieces are just going to be very versatile. I just wish you guys could feel this. It really is the best. There are plenty of materials that try to kind of dupe this material, but none of them are quite exactly the same. I've had dupes, if you will, from Walmart and Target. And although they feel pretty similar at first, the main thing that I've noticed is that they just don't hold up like this material does. This material I can wash. It's still just as soft and it really doesn't diminish over time. So that's why I do think these are worth the investment, especially the sweatshirt, because you're going to get a lot of wear out of something like this. This one is just in my normal size large. It fits great, very true to size. I will say with the shorts, I think these run pretty small. So I would definitely size up in these. Both me and my mom held up our size in the shorts in store. And I was like, oh my God, those look so small. The waist looks so small and they looked really short. So I ended up getting an extra large in the shorts and they fit pretty good. My mom ended up getting the large and she usually wears a medium. So just keep that in mind. And these do not have pockets, but they do have a drawstring. And honestly, in the back, I think the length is okay. They're not too short, which is great. I was really worried about that, but I think they look fine. And I just love this as a set. I feel like it looks like a little romper, but you could also wear the pieces individually. This next little set is from Zella. And I did try this on in my Shop With Me video. So you guys might've already seen it. And this is the one that I thought would be similar to the Spanx Air Essentials line that I just showed you. And it is a little bit similar as far as just like how it feels on the outside, but this one is a lot thicker. And one of the things that I love about the Spanx Air Essentials line is how lightweight it is. It literally feels like you're wearing nothing. This is a little bit heavier and the material is like silky feeling, but it doesn't glide quite like the Spanx one, but I still do really like it. I just always like to mention those comparisons. But this one is a cropped little hoodie. I I love the color. This does come in black and I believe a cream color as well. I just opted for this fun little blue, but I love the length of this cropped hoodie. This is something that I would definitely wear with leggings as well. It's super comfortable. It fits really well. I have it paired with the matching pants, of course, and these are high-waisted. They have a nice waistband on them. They fit really snug at your waist and they do have pockets. And these are a wide leg style pants. Once again, very trendy, but also very comfortable like I could just live in this set and I just have it on with those New Balance sneakers and I feel like it looks great with that. So next we have another piece from Spanx and this is their little active dress that was included in the sale this year. I am super impressed with this so I just put it on for the first time. I didn't have a chance to try this one on in the store but oh my goodness I love this. It really like holds you in there you know what I mean like it's sucking everything in which is not surprising from Spanx. It is a shapewear brand but it has like the full shorts underneath and they just really keep everything nice and secure and one cool feature is that the shorts are actually not attached to the dress in the very back so when you go to the bathroom you can actually just like slip them over your legs because they're super stretchy and it's supposed to be easier to go to the bathroom obviously I have not tested that yet but I did want to mention that feature because a lot of active dresses the shorts are like sewn all the way around so if you ever have to go to the bathroom you have to literally take off the entire thing or use a little pee hole. And for me, those never freaking work. So what is the point? But anyways, yeah, I really like this one. It's such a nice design and it's just all black. It's really structured up here. Then of course you have 
the little skirt detail at the bottom so flowy and I'm not wearing a bra with this just because it is so structured I don't really think that you need one but if you wanted to wear like a little sports bra I'm sure you could if you play any little outdoor sports this would be adorable or for me I just wear these like for athleisure sometimes I'll throw like a little cropped active jacket over top or just wear it as is honestly it's one of those dresses that looks like an active dress but honestly with the right accessories you could probably wear it as a normal dress too next up we have another little matching set here and this one is by the brand sweaty betty I did try this one on in my shop with me video and this one is also very very similar to the Spanx air essentials set I would say this one is the most similar as far as how it feels on the outside it is almost like velvet it's just so smooth but still this one is a little bit thicker like I'm a little hotter in this one and one of the biggest differences is that this one is really tight in the arms specifically around the wrist and the Spanx one is not like that it's more of like a looser fit just so you guys are aware of the differences and I did not realize the price of this when I bought it I don't know why I just assumed it was gonna be like around 50 bucks but it was actually $84 which is kind of crazy in my opinion considering the Spanx one is 75 or 79 so 80 and then this one's 85 so if I were you I would definitely get the Spanx one if you are deciding between the two although I do really like this set I just didn't realize that this was $85 but the shorts are $54.99 I think these are the exact same price as the Spanx one and I do actually like these probably better than the Spanx one I really like the waistband on these it's just like a really thick elastic waistband it holds you in really nicely and these do run a little bit more true to size I still did get these in an extra large just because I like to have a little bit more room and length on my shorts but I probably could have done the large as well they're really comfortable like very good quality and these actually have pockets and they have a zipper on the pockets too so that's a really nice detail and something that I do like better than the Sphinx one so it's kind of tough if you want the full set maybe this one is worth it if you like the shorts better if you're just looking for a crew neck sweatshirt in this material I would probably go with the Spanx one and I really liked the blue because I was very interested in these Nike Air Max sneakers and they match just perfectly look at that so on the shoes the color is technically a purple it's a really pretty light purple but I feel like from far away it does look good with the light blue set that I have on and I am just really excited about these shoes just because I don't have any like this I usually go for something a little bit different so these are going to be a nice addition to my sneakers and I love the little pop of color but from the front they look like a all white pair of sneakers and they do look really good on your feet I feel like they make your feet kind of look slender and they're very comfortable too they're a little tight getting them on but once they are on I feel like they fit true to size next we have a little matching athletic set from Zella and I was really excited about this one because of the neutral color so I actually got a similar set last year in a pink and this really soft fabric that's kind of like a space dye print and I really liked it so I loved that they came out with this beige color this year I picked up the sports bra which is actually really nice I will say it's like a very low impact sports bra I don't think that I would be wearing this to do like a full-on hit workout but just going on like a little hot girl walk or just like wearing it as athleisure I think is great and then the leggings are great as well obviously very high-waisted and instead of like that slick cool to the touch athletic material they are like a really soft cotton so once again depending on your preferences maybe not the best thing to work out in I feel like these are gonna show a lot of sweat but for me these are just going to be more of like a cute little mom outfit I love wearing little matching athletic or athleisure sets like this I will say the leggings are so stretchy that you could probably size down in them they do kind of like bunch here in the crotch area so I don't love that but honestly the way that I'm planning to wear these I feel like that really won't be showing a whole lot and the leggings are pretty long I just rolled them underneath and they're fine I have to do that with most of my leggings so no surprise there and I just have them on with my New Balance sneakers so next I wanted to share this amazing free people pullover with you guys and it's a good thing it's pretty cool in my house because this thing is very very warm it's like fully insulated trying this on in the dead of summer is not the best idea but I am so excited to have this for fall and winter it is so nice I love the crisp white color I do think it's sold out unfortunately but if it comes back in stock you guys I just want you to know I highly recommend it it just hangs perfectly it's like the perfect amount of oversized it's kind of like a half zip design but it buttons instead of zip 
zips and it does have a hood which is great and then this here in the middle unzips and I don't really know why hmm what is this oh maybe it's like packable so you can kind of like shove the whole thing in here I don't know I'll have to go on the listing and figure out what that's about but that's kind of cool and then of course you have the pocket here in the center that goes all the way across and it's just in this like really lightweight puffer material this was a last minute purchase I went back for it at the very last minute and I'm so glad I did because I think this is just going to be something that I pull for again and again and again in the winter months next we have another little matching athletic set from Zella this time in a really nice dark plum color which I love I don't really have a lot of stuff in this color and I think it's really nice for fall so up top you have like a little half zip jacket it's a very thin material so even if you wanted to wear it like earlier in fall it's not gonna be too too warm it does have the little thumb holes on the sleeves and then of course like I mentioned the zipper that you can zip all the way up or leave it kind of unzipped to show your sports bra which I think is a cute look but other than that it's pretty plain there's no pockets or anything the leggings are in the same color they are high-waisted of course and these are a little bit more structured than the last pair but still stretchy and comfortable these are just like a little bit more of an athletic style so for me I would actually wear these really doing any workout I think you'd be fine in these and they do have pockets on both sides of the leggings they're pretty much the same length as the other ones I did roll them under a bit and I just paired them with the Nike Air Max sneakers overall I think this is a really nice workout set whether you are wearing it actually to work out or if you just want to wear it for a nice little matching athleisure look so next we have a pair of pajamas and unfortunately I realized after I bought these that the pink color is not included in the sale so I will probably end up returning these and getting another pair that is included in the sale but I do love these pajamas you guys these are the moonlight pajamas from Nordstrom which I have several pairs of and they are incredible they're just the best quality they hold up really nice like some of the pairs that I've had I've had for years and they still look great but the material is just like really nice and lightweight so you're not going to be too hot which is important for me because I do not like to be hot when I sleep and I especially like these because these are the crop pair which on me they're really not that cropped you can see they hit like right at my ankles but I like these because they come with a pair of pants but the top is a short sleeve top which makes it a lot more comfortable for me to sleep like I said I do not like being hot and I don't really like sleeping in long sleeves so yeah these are perfect and the top buttons up the bottoms have elastic and a drawstring here just the most comfortable pair of pajamas that you will ever have and these do come in several styles they have a short sleeve top and a pair of shorts they have the long sleeve and long pants and then this style the cropped with the short sleeves and the cropped pants which will be cropped on you probably if you are taller than 5'5 and then for shoes I just have on the pair of Ugg slippers that I got this year I love these you guys I was not planning on getting any more slide slippers but I really liked how fluffy these were they're just so different than any of the slide slippers they've released in the past and I love a slide slipper because sometimes in regular slippers my feet will get like hot and sweaty and I just find with a slide my feet have a little bit more room to breathe but they're still really comfortable and they're great slippers to wear now too when it's still hot out but I just got them in the beige you can see they have a nice tread on the bottom so if you have to wear these outside no big deal I usually wear an eight and a half but these only come in whole sizes and I went with the eight instead of the nine I did try on the nine but they just looked really big on my feet so I ended up going with the eight unless you have like a really wide foot I think you'll be fine going the size down so we're gonna end off the video on this robe which I did already share in my shop with me video but I wanted to mention it again because I feel like this is going to be a piece that stays in stock and it is one of my favorites which I know sounds so silly but I was actually needing a new terry cloth robe anyways and I was so excited that this one was in the sale it is such nice quality you guys like it is so soft I could literally stay in this all day long but it's actually going to be functional too because of the terry cloth material it's going to be very absorbent to use when you get out of the shower but it's also going to be something that is comfortable to wear even if you're not showering if you just want to wear it like lounging around the house as well obsessed with it I love the color it looked a little bit more vibrant on the website which I'm 
I'm actually glad it's a little bit more muted. I think I like the color a lot better in person. And I like how long it is as well. It's just the perfect length. It has pockets here, of course, a tie around the waist. And it actually has a smaller tie on the inside so that it stays put and it's not going to come undone while you get ready. I just love using a terry cloth robe when I get out of the shower rather than a towel that just doesn't stay put. I'm constantly having to adjust the towel. So a robe is just like a much better option for me. I've always used a terry cloth robe and this one is such a nice upgrade. I love it. And that is actually it for today's video, you guys. I'm gonna just go ahead and end the video here in my robe, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I always have so much fun putting these videos together. Of course, everything will be linked in the description box in a pinned comment and you can shop some of the items on the YouTube shopping feature as well. Let me know what outfit was your favorite from today's video and what you guys have picked up from the Nordstrom anniversary sale so far. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and for supporting my channel. It truly means the world to me and I hope that you will stick around and if so, I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!